Hi Aries, this is your February past, present, and future reading. Apologies for the audio issues on the last video. Um, I thought my headphone, headphones were connected, they were not. I later found that out and people were sleeping, so I was talking low. My apologies, there are some kind of mean people on um, YouTube. Um, so, sorry about that. You should be able to hear me now. This is going to be your past, present, and future spread for fe February 2019 for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. This is January 19th. Um, the moon is in Cancer. It's about 97%. Waxing gibbous. Our full moon is tomorrow here. And uh, there's also an eclipse tomorrow. I'm sure this video may go up. I'm hoping to get it up today, today tonight, or early tomorrow morning. But um, hopefully, you know, it may go out after the full moon. But fingers crossed. Also, I've been making some jewelry, some crystals, me and my friends. So um, I'll post a photo of that at the end of the reading so you can see what that looks like. But let's get into your reading. So this is Gemini's. I'm sorry, this is Aries. Someone rising Venus. I'm sorry. Sorry. Universe. Divine Spirit. Spirit guides, angels, archangels, guardian angels. Thank you for allowing me to receive the messages that I seek for Aries. Someone rising Venus and Jupiter. For February 2019. Please show me what they need to see the most for past, present, and future. For February 2019, and past, present, and future spread. Two more shuffles. One more. Okay. Okay, come on. <clears throat> Overall theme of the reading, the death card. Doesn't mean anything, but uh, this could be a transformation. This could be the end of something. This could be the end of a cycle. This could be the end of a relationship, a job, um, a transformation. This could be Scorpio. That's the card of Scorpio. Let's look a little bit deeper into the death card real quick this this is the overall theme of your reading and i turn right to it transformation change and new beginnings is represented with the death card um what is no longer needed is taken away but this can be a blessing as it clears away um clears the way for the future the end of a relationship job or old situation heralds the start of a new phase change transformation transition um, era coming to enclose, end, new beginnings, renewal. Um, whether it's painful or it feels beautiful, whether, you know, whether it's growing pains or hard to face it, this is transformation. Definitely not a bad thing and it's major arcana, so it's going to happen anyway. In the past, we have the Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles is the beginning of Maybe a new job venture, maybe a a new skill, a new source of money, some type of new increase involving involving money, some type of confidence or security with money. It could be um, winning something like winning the lottery, winning um, some type of prize with money, a raise, something like that. But typically like a new source of income, like a new job or a new contract or a new um, business or something like that. New property regarding the home, property, business, and it's spread it overalls any negative card, minor arcana card next to it. So far we don't have any negative cards except the five of wands. That's present. This talks about, let me not tell you exactly, but the wands is fire. Um, so Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, um, fives is conflicts or a turning point, like a breaking through. Um, so this is definitely growing pains. 
This is a test and a need to stand your ground. You may be surrounded by people with strong opinions, um, unable to make yourself heard. On a literal note, this card can show the importance, uh, the an important sporting event or competition. Um, so in that aspect, it may not be uh, bad. Could be, you know, healthy competition or it could be just competition. Um, this could be arguments, conflicts, tests and circum uh, testing circumstances, forging new ideas, creating new products, power struggles, mastering yourself or sharing viewpoints. This is like working with other people and maybe there are opposing viewpoints. So take that how it resonates. And in the future, we have the Ace of Wands. Ace of Wands. That's a new beginning. The birth of an idea. No, not an idea. The the birth of a project, maybe, or venture, an invention, source, inheritance. It could be an actual birth, childbirth. This is birth and transformation. Um, <laughs> And this is transformation. A lot of transformation going on for y'all, Aries. Y'all transforming on us. Um, this card also mentions good news. Creativity, um, inspiration, ideas, travel, and other news adventure. Other new adventures beckon. Progress and inventiveness at work. Could be a symbol of male fertility. Um, so you could be having a baby. Something like that. Or, like I said, the birth of an idea. Uh, not an idea, but a, the birth of a project. And it's spread it overrules any negative minor arcana card. Minor arcana. Minor arcana card next to it. As does the Ace of Pentacles here. So both of these cards overrule this shitty Five of Wands here. And it's really not a shitty card. Uh, but let's clarify a little bit more. Let me move my notes out the way. Get a little bit more clarity, universe, for Aries. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Please clarify the past, present, and future spread in front of me. Starting with the Ace of Pentacles. Why is the Ace of Pentacles here? The star, following your intuition. This is hope, guidance, healing. This is the past. That's an Aquarius also. So we got Earth, Fire. You're an Aries, so this could definitely be you. Um, we got Fire. We got Scorpio. We got Aquarius. We got Air. We got Water. <clears throat> One more for the Ace of Pentacles. Why is the Ace of Pentacles here for Aries? Why is the Ace of Pentacles here? Oh, okay. <clears throat> Knight of Swords and the Ace of Swords in reverse. Okay, let's see. Hold on now. <clears throat> so the Knight of Swords and the Ace of Swords in reverse came out. Now this is mental. So maybe there's some type of mental block of blocking you from creating or block blocking you from create coming up with some type of new idea this is sudden change changes imbalanced mind quarrels and arguments irritability conception this could also be a decision goes against you literally um, generally being dominated by greater forces so that could be what led to this take that how it resonates and maybe this is you so or somebody speaking their truth or coming forward what is this a knight this is a knight of swords knights are fast moving um this is opposition and disputes relationship conflicts and work audits a truth may come to light as a person a driven individual who craves stimulation and who is easily bored Somebody who's sharp and egoist. This also represents bravery. Um, competitive. Seductive. 
damaging, fearless, rage, war. Those are some characteristics associated with this card. Also, specifically, Taurus and Gemini. So maybe, if it's work-related, maybe you're dealing with somebody with, who's a Taurus or Gemini at work. Um, I don't know, Aries. And maybe, you know, they came forward with some information about you. This, you know, making it hard for you to move forward. They started some type of quarrels. I, and see, I don't feel like the star card was supposed to come out. That's why I pulled this, these two. Well, I wanted one more clarity card, but these two came out. <clears throat> Maybe this is telling you to be hopeful and to rely on guidance from your intuition or your higher self. Um, because this five of wands, you don't want to be there. Why is the five of wands here? Why is the five of wands here for Aries, Sun, Rising, Venus, and Gemini for February 2019? Why is the five of wands here? Okay. <clears throat> high priestess and the ace of wands it's like nope i want what i deserve i want like um your intuition is telling you no this ace of wands is for you so this card um the high priestess the secrets intuition and learning spiritual leadership and knowledge through education and mentoring the card of the psychic and uh, the unconscious in other realms. Also the need for privacy and discretion. That's the high priestess here. <clears throat> also intuition, instinct, dreams, mysteries, deep emotions, great, greater powers at work. So it's like, you don't even have to deal with this because, and then, yeah, yeah. The ace of wands is in your future, so. This is like somebody's telling you, if your intuition is telling you, no. This new start, this new beginning, this inheritance, this this creation, this venture, um, is mine. It's for you. So with all this battling with other people, this these quarrels, this conflict, no. And maybe it's a part of your transformation, cause I'm talking about transformation here. There's a lot of transformation. Okay. Why is the Ace of Wands here for Aries? Show me why the Ace of Wands is here. I'm not taking this. Show me why the Ace of Wands is here. The Ace of Pentacles showed itself again. Show me why the Ace of Wands is here. Give me one good one. Let me shuffle. <clears throat> Show me why the Ace of Wands is here. Why's the Ace of Wands here? Let's clarify the Ace of Wands universe. Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords definitely speaks the truth. Um, she's more introverted than the king, but um, maybe like a softer approach, so to speak, but still gonna cut out the bullshit. This is uh, strength and intelligence. As a person, an independent woman or a feminine energy, doesn't have to be a woman, often a business leader, a single woman, a single parent or a parent, who has more dominant uh, domestic responsibility because her partner is emotionally or physically distant. This is witty, sharp mind, sarcastic, widow, freedom, logical, hard, loyal, reserved. Those are some um, characteristics associated with this card. Um, so maybe when you get it, when you get your ace of wands, you're going to be a little, a little sarcastic about it, or you're going to have a little, a little something to say, or I don't know. 
still a, this is Virgo and Libra with this card. Still a nurturing, intelligent, you know, mature woman. But this is a little bit sarcastic, sharp-minded, witty, like, <laughs> yeah. Like, somebody like, yeah, bitch. Y'all did all that shit, but this was mine, and I knew it was mine. So, carry on. You can go on about your way now. She's like, you are dismissed. You are no longer needed. Your services are no longer needed. <laughs> so, um... Don't even sweat the drama, the quarrels, the conflict. It's for you. It's yours. Whatever it is, like, you're going to get what's meant for you. Whatever y'all fighting about, I feel like you're getting your way. Whatever this quarrel, this conflict about, you're getting your way. Let's get some Divine Energy Oracle guidance for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Two more shovels for Aries. Strengthen your gifts. Strengthen your gifts. That's what came up. Examine what's important in your uh, to your spirit right now and forget the rest. Focus especially on your talents and gifts and identify what you need to do to strengthen them. Don't let the negativity of the world override or sabotage your commitment to yourself and avoid drama-filled conversations that have been demoralizing that have a demoralizing effect on you. Protect yourself against wasting your divine energy on anything that leads to self-doubt. Your divine energy is calling you to Direct your energy towards strengthening your talents and gifts. Beware of negativity that could sabotage your confidence. Quietly work to improve your talents and don't waste time in meaningless pursuits. Meaning this right here. Don't waste your time. Your intuition is going to say, you don't even need to do this. Maybe when you watch this, this is your intuition. <laughs> you know, it's going to speak to your intuition and tell you, you don't even need to do this because you could just be working on, if it's work related, you could just be working on Staying strong in your position so that, you know, you they be like, oh, she wasn't even involved in that. He wasn't even involved in that. They ain't have nothing to do with him. Um, also says your divine intuition. Sorry, your divine invitation. Believe in yourself. Be faithful and consistent as you master your as you master your talents and be patient with the demands as they make on you. Sorry, be patient with the demands they make on you. With your divine helpers um, working alongside you, your efforts will be worthwhile in the long run. Duh. They're going to be worthwhile. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Let's get some romance angels. Um, some guidance from the romance angels oracle deck for the romance area of your life. Get some love guidance for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's get some love guidance for Aries. Two more shots of the universe. New love. A person, <clears throat> a new person has stirred your romantic feelings. Hmm. Maybe you fighting for somebody. Maybe you fighting over somebody. 
don't know. Let's see. Some fighting over somebody you're meant to be with. <clears throat> Let's see how this makes it. New love, 59. Romance angels have sent you this card like a Valentine greeting, signaling the introduction of someone new into your love life. Perhaps you've recently met this person and your interest was piqued. This card validates that your connection was mutual and real. It is safe for you to explore it and the romance angels will guide your um, actions accordingly. Of course, if you are already in a committed relationship, you'll want to consult your angels and perhaps a counselor or um, other person to get insight into your feelings. Ooh, wait, 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 wait. Consult your angels and perhaps a counselor or other trusted person to get insight into your feelings. While running into the um, arms of a suitor may sound passionate, the reality of guilt um, over the affair will soon weigh heavily upon you. It's better to confront the issues within your present relationship that left your emotional doors open for someone else. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm so itchy. This card can also mean that you um, that you'll meet but you'll soon meet a new person. In these cases, the romance angels are asking that you keep the um, the faith that love is in your cards. You deserve love and, and um, you're lovable. The angels guide um, the angels guide you to be aware as you never know when your partner will arrive. So, and maybe that's why you're supposed to be in this position. Whatever this new. Why did I put that back? <clears throat> maybe that's why. Um, maybe this is, you know, your divine purpose to be in this position. Um, maybe it's some type of project at work or something. And it's going to lead you to meeting. A new love. I don't know. I don't know, but I feel like you are floating above the drama. All of these cards around in this bullshit is great. There's transformation and no bullshit. I'm transform I'm transforming. I don't have time for the bullshit. So yeah, and all of this I think is attributed to your transformation. So let me know how that makes sense, Aries. I hope that resonated with you. Please give me a like if you do. Um, if some of this made sense, if you like this, um, please subscribe if you haven't. Thank you if you have. Um, and if you're interested in the jewelry, I'll post a photo of what we created so far at the end of this video. And I'll see you for your March readings. Peace, Aries.